Staying in the holiday spirit, well, we urge you to head over to Meadowbrook Hall in Rochester to check out the Dodge Wilson home. That's right. Our Jennifer Ann Wilson shows us the 110 room mansion, and it's quite a sight. This is the vanity of Matilda Dodge Wilson. No relation, but I wish she was. <laughs> she was the matron of the Dodge Wilson home, and as tall as I am, she was just four foot eleven, and so she had her bed completely custom made. And if she ever needed anything while she was in bed, check this out. She had a cool little button. She just had to reach over and press it, and help would come. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It still works. This is Shannon. Shannon, the Dodge Wilson home, just really beautiful, really classy. In this room, we've barely seen half of it. It's huge. It is. It is one of the most popular rooms on the tour. Um, this was Matilda's room, like you mentioned earlier, and it is quite large. It's one of the largest rooms in the home, and this is only half of it, so there's lots more to see. Big, big, beautiful Christmas tree, and I love this. There are Christmas decorations in every room of this 110-room mansion. You get to see about half of them. The decorations different this year than in years past, so even if you've been here before, you haven't seen it all, and if you haven't been here, you are going to be probably as amazed as I am by this gigantic chess set. Yeah, so that was part of the Wilson collection. They would have played with that chess set. It wouldn't necessarily have been here displayed like it is today, but that's just because you a chance to see it and understand a little bit about this year's theme, which is the treasures of childhood and how the Wilsons would have used their home. I love that, and the theme does change every year, which yes. means the displays change as well, and there's always something new to see. For those of you who haven't been here before, something else interesting, this is Matilda's room, the matron of the household, but she was married, and her husband's room was just through these doors. Seems odd to me, but if you had that much money back in the 30s, pretty normal. It was pretty common. So this home was t uh, modeled after the Tudor Revival Homes in England, and that was very common to have the rooms separate. They, the, the man of the house, the lady of the house would have their own rooms, but they have adjoining suites. So that's what Matilda and Alfred did here. Okay, fantastic. This home is open for you to tour from now through a couple of days before Christmas. What are the hours? It's open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. now and through December 22nd. And we are open evening touring till 9 p.m. December 18th through December 21st. Okay, so some additional hours yes. for you to come take a tour. It takes an hour, two hours, maybe depending on how much time you spend in each room. There's some fun for the kids as well, silent films, some games to play to keep them entertained while you absorb the elegance, the class just immerse yourself in a whole other world, which I'm going to continue to do. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson. Back to you. She seems right at home <laughs> in that lovely mansion this morning. Thanks for that, Jen.